Alright then my friends, so in the last lesson we added these two text widgets with a plus icon right here and we said that eventually they're going to be buttons that when we click on them increase the strength and the sugars. So at the minute we're using a text widget but we can use built-in button widgets as well and there's a few different ones that we can choose from. So over on the Flutter docs we're going to see we have this one right here, an elevated button, a filled button, then we have a filled tonal button, an outline button or a text button and we get examples of those down here so this is elevated with a bit of a drop shadow like that filled filled tonal so just a different variation of the color basically outlined with a board all around it and then just a text button which is just text but when you hover over that you can see a bit of a background as well so these are the different variations we can use and they all have their own widget so this elevated one is an elevated button then we have a filled button widget filled button dot tonal so this is another named constructor, still making a filled button widget, but it's making it in a different way, using a different color, basically. Then we have an outlined button widget and then a text button widget. Now they all have an on pressed field right here, an on pressed argument, and that needs to be a function. So when we press this, it runs a specific function and we can do something. As well as on pressed, we have a child field as well, which is generally just a text widget to display text inside the button. All right then, so let's try adding a couple of different variations of these buttons. So right here, when we have this text widget inside the first row, so this is for the strength, I'm gonna instead use a filled button. So I will say filled button, like so. And then inside here, remember, we need two things. We need an onPressed, which is gonna be a function. And for now, I'm just gonna do an inline function like so. We'll come back to that. And we also need a child field, which is gonna be a text widget. And the text in this case is just gonna be a plus sign. So plus, if I can find it, there we go. All right, so this can be a const. So let's place const in front of that. And now down here for the sugar, we'll do a different kind of button just so we can see two of them. So let's get rid of the text and instead we'll use a text button. So this is a button without a background, remember. And then inside there, we also need the on click or rather on pressed. We'll just grab these things right here and paste them in here because they're exactly the same on pressed, which is a function and then a child, which is some text. So if I click on this right now, we're gonna see two different buttons. We see this one, which is a filled button and this, which is a text button. But notice when I click on this, you get that little background popping. All right, so we can override the colors of these, which we will do shortly. But before we do that, I'd like to make a couple of functions for these two things right here, because at the minute they're just empty inline functions. Now, in the future, when we click on this button, it's gonna increase the strength value by one. When we click on this one, it's gonna increase the sugars number by one. So let's come to the top up here and let's just define a couple of functions inside this widget class. And we can do that. Any kind of logic that we need to create can go inside this class. So I'm going to create a new function which doesn't return anything. So void and then increase strength. And this function is just going to print out a statement for now. We'll add the logic later. So print and then we'll say ink strength by one. All right. So now I'm going to do one for the sugars. So I'll say void increase sugars. And then inside here again, we're going to print something out. And we'll say ink sugars by one. All right. So then we have those two functions. We can hook them up down here. So for this one, it's increase strength. And then down here, it's increase sugars. Now notice we don't invoke these functions because if we did that, it's going to invoke them straight away when it runs this code. We're just referencing the function here so that when we do press this button, it knows this is the function it needs to invoke at that point. All right, so let's open up now the terminal so we can see any print statements. It's gonna be on the right over here that we, um, that we see it. So let's click on this button first of all, and you can see ink strength by one, awesome. Let's click on this one. And it says ink sugars by one, awesome. So they're both working. Now, like I said, we can change the styles because they don't match our style at the moment. We want them to be brown or something. So let's try doing that. So to do that, we come inside the filled button and we add on a style property. Now, if we hover over this, we should see that the value type needs to be of button style type. 
Now, the easiest way to create a button style is to use a convenience method on this thing right here, filled button. So if we paste that in and use a method called style from on it, if we hover over this, you'll see that it returns a button style. And inside style from, we can just pass in a bunch of these different arguments, named arguments to style the button. So don't forget your comment at the end, first of all, and then inside this function, we're going to pass through a background color. So background color, and this is going to be colors dot brown. And then also we could have a foreground color, and this is going to be colors dot white. So I'm just going to leave it at that, but you could add any of these other properties down here to style the button as well. All right. So the same is true for other buttons. If we come down here, we see we have the text button. So I could have a style property right here. And the style is again, going to be this time a text button and then a convenience method called style from like so add your comment at the end. And then inside here, I'm just going to add the foreground color. So foreground color, and it's going to be colors dot brown. All right. So if I save that, hopefully we can see two newly styled buttons. This one's got a background color of brown and a color of white. This one has a foreground color of brown. All right, cool. So there's two different buttons that we can use now, just so it looks a bit better. I think what I'm going to do is actually grab this filled button thing right here. In fact, I'll just grab the style. And I'll change this to filled button just so they're the same and everything's consistent. And I'm going to paste in the style from the filled button, save it. And now we see these two buttons right here. Cool. 